My name is Matt Bautel, and together with my colleague Dave Fisher, would like you to welcome you to this unit. All right, here we're going to be continuing our study of OAuth uh, in Google Cloud Endpoints, uh, and focusing this time on the Android client. All right. Uh, so you'll notice we're continuing the same app uh, from last time, right? So our, our grade recorder app uh, that we built the back end for. Uh, so what we're going to do this time is, is work on the client. So what I'm going to do is, is run it. And let's see. So I have this guy running on my phone. It turns out it's, it's pretty slow on the emulator. So what I'm going to do is grab some, some screenshots here from the phone. And you can see what's, what's going on. Uh, it's going to lag a little bit just because of, of, um, of you know, my own clicks here but the network is actually fairly snappy on this guy. All right, so what I'll do is we'll see it, it starts off um, with actually going to Google Cloud Services, or excuse me, to Google Play Services, and it's, it's um, doing an, an account picker here, so I'm gonna go ahead and choose uh, my Gmail account and click OK, and when I do that, uh, it's gonna bring me into, um, into the same uh, homeworks that I had um, previously. In fact, if I do a refresh here, um, actually, I have the the homework one through three, all right, that I had on the on the the uh, web client. Uh, so what can I do here? At this point, I could I could click um, plus, all right, and it would ask me if I wanted to um, to add an assignment, all right, and and I could do that. Uh, I'm actually not gonna I'm not gonna do that uh, right now. I have enough assignments. Uh, the same kind of things that I could do on the back end, right? So let's let's go in here. Um, we'll say to homework two if I click that guy and refresh it. It should first start off by saying that it's loading and then very briefly after that um, it's going to load up the, the people that we have here. Um, let's say I wanted to add uh, one here so I'm going to refresh um, and if I do add uh, it'll you know it'll default to me. Um, let's refresh this again here. It brings a little, a little drop down here and say I click on um, on adding a grade for Dr. Mutchler, right? And refresh this. Uh, then it's going to pop him um, in there, and then I can enter a score. Entering a score is is using a, a you know a, a numeric text pad. Uh, if you want to see that little little numeric keyboard, you might be able to catch a little bit of it on the on the screen here. Uh, not too much. Um, and I entered a grade, and I'll click refresh. Um, and we'll see that we're in here. All right. Uh, clicking the back button brings you back to the to the main screen, and then there's a little you know sort of sync button uh, there if, if I wanted to to resync with the database. Um, but that's about what we got going on here, right? So we've we've looked at each of these guys. Um, nothing like we said for adding or deleting students. Um, they're just options uh, that are being pulled down for the database so we can populate our our, our spinners, right? Uh, so that's what we got going on in our Android client. So going back here, um, our focus uh, to be able to to um, create the backend or to, to be able to create this Android client, uh, we're going to have to um, again generate client code from our backend. Uh, you know, using OF, and it's going to be very very similar. Um, we will have to make sure that, that we can go up to the uh, to the developer site and create an Android client ID that we're going to use. Um, we have to be able to use that code. It's a little bit more complex, but we're we're actually not going to be typing in too much. Um, and then, as, as I said, for the account picker, we're going to have to use Google Play Services. And then, you know, to do that, we'll have to learn how to how to link to existing libraries, right? Uh, so some good good stuff going on here. Uh, and again, we're going to transition into a document, right? So I'd invite you to follow along to the Grid Recorder Android client. And for this guy, we're going to start off uh, in our next lesson with with getting the client ID. All right, we'll see you then.